Hello guys, um, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the 4 to 10, 4 to 2 to 10 uh, layout. This is a continuation from my uh, last video, the 4 to 1 layout. <clears throat> but anyways, here we go, let's get started. This will not require any special items or whatever. But anyways, let's start. So we're going to start off with any table you want. Just make sure it's not a one times one table, like this. Do not use one of these type of tables. Use something like this. But uh, I'm going to be using the gingerbread tables. Hold on, let me find it. Where is it? Hold on. Okay, I need to buy some. Give me a second. Okay, you're going to at least need eight of them. So we're going to start off right here. Oops. Um, yeah. Right. Oh my god. Right here. I'm going to place one rotated this way. Right here. Another one next to it. Another one next to here. And we're going to get it rotated this way in one block. Right here. Place two again. Basically, we're doing the same thing for each side. Now that that's done, I'm going to have to buy some uh, chairs. I believe you need at least, like, 32 chairs. So, we're going to get that much. There we go. So, we're going to place them. Yeah, pretty much you just need to place them forwards to tables. And I'm not sure about this one right here. These sides. This. This. And this. I think it's optional if you want to do it or not. For me, I'm, I don't really feel like doing it. So you, can, you guys can do it if you want. But it's, it's optional. So don't worry about that part. But anyways, I'm just going to keep putting the chair sound. But yeah, you need at least 32 chairs. If you have enough, I recommend using either, either uh, gingerbread chairs or and tables. Or beach tables. Or maybe pirate tables. Or if you don't have enough, then just use tiki tables. Yeah. You just have to use uh, tiki tables since they're very cheap. And they're also these type of tables. Not sure how to explain it, but okay. Anyways, next up, we're going to go to appliances, and we need a salad bar. We're going to put it right here. I don't care how the hell the way you place it, just you have to place it right here. You can put a popcorn machine, or if you have a soda machine, that's very crucial to if you want money, but I don't have it. I only have like one, so I'm just going to put a popcorn machine. And then I'm gonna we're gonna put a silverware tray, one silverware tray right here. If you have a luxury silverware tray, then you gotta use it. There you go. Now we're gonna put the filler, so people or customers or waiters don't just wander around. You can put anything you want. You just it just has to be filler, like something. Yeah. So, at least, it should be at least, like, uh, three rows to five. And that should be enough for the amount you need for the fillers. So, I'm just going to keep placing some. Okay. Yeah, but I pretty much, I think you should get it. So, the reason why, this is for, this is mainly for, actually wait, I should have said that for, at the, like, the beginning. This is mainly for customer layout, so like, what I mean is that if you want a lot of customers, maybe to be served. I'm not sure about the money layouts yet, because I haven't really made any that worked. Because I, I am trying to make layouts right now and this is 
my probably my best one. So yeah. And you guys can test this out and if there's anything wrong you can just ask me or I mean tell me and I'll fix it or at least make a video that tells uh you guys that something's wrong about the layout. But yeah, one more thing, um these spots, empty spots, it's optional too. You can you can put a fuller there, but I don't know, I'm just I, you it does it doesn't matter. I guess you can just say those those are spots for the waiters walking around or the customers. I have no idea. But pretty much that's it. So that that should be a four two to ten. So like this should be nearly the same thing, or at least the exact same thing. But yeah, yeah, the exact same thing. You should. Actually, I'm going to find out how many customers you get served per hour. Because I haven't really find, found out. I know you definitely get more than a thousand per hour. Probably, I'm guessing it's going to be like 3k to 4k. But I, I, haven't, I don't know yet. I'll, I'm going to predict it. Or no, not predict. I'm going to calculate it. Maybe. But yeah. You guys can also do it too. And tell me in the comments too. And so everyone else will know. But anyways that's it. Um, Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. I just need like 18 more. So please subscribe. And you don't have to subscribe. I'm just trying to entertain people. And help people. But anyways bye bye. Jane Peer out.